Hey everyone, I'm Simple from Motion Tutorials and today I am going to show you how to create this. So let's get started with Illustrator, here I made a few different styles of arms. You can easily animate this all type of arms in After Effects with Duik plugin. As you can see, here I already have separate arms on different layers, because then it's easy to rig in After Effects. So let's import this illustration file into After Effects. First of all, create a new composition, let's call it Arm Animation. Here I have an HD default setting, which is 1920 by 1080 with 29.97 frame rate, duration of 10 seconds is enough. You can change these settings according to your project requirements. With everything set, click OK. Now import your illustration file into After Effects and choose Composition Retain Layer Sizes. What this does, makes the layer size only as big as the object. If you had selected the other option Composition it would have taken the entire size of the document as the layer size. And hit Open. Now drag the arm composition into the timeline and double click the composition layer. As you can see here all layers are separated, first we have to rename the layers, select the layer you want to rename, and press enter and type background, then lock the background layer so it won't accidentally get moved while working. Select the second layer and call it arm1. Then select the third layer and call it arm2. In this tutorial, we will animate only one arm, you can try animating any of this style of arms. First I will delete the other arm layers from the timeline as I don't need them as of now. Now select both the arm layers and fix to a line center. Here we are going to start with arm 1. So first select arm 1 and go to tools panel, here you can see puppet tool. The puppet tool inside of After Effects are extremely powerful. When you place the first pin, the area within an outline is automatically divided into a mesh of triangles. If you want to show the mesh, select show in the tools panel. For the first step, I'm going to place position pins on my arm. Now select the arm layer and then go to in the Duik plugin, you can easily open the Duik plugin by going to window. So now it's time to start rigging using Duik plugin. Duik is a very powerful tool to rig your characters and is totally free. Let's choose these links and constraints option of the Duik plugin, then select add bones. As you can see here bones have applied to the arm. This is the effect control of the bone. Here you can easily change the bone color and size. Now select the bone layers and then select the option of Auto Rig and IK in the Duik plugin. As you can see this arm controller has been created in the timeline, drag this controller layer to the bottom side, and if you want all layer colors to be the same, click on label option. Now let's see how does it work. Now let's move this arm controller and here you can see the arm controller is moving in the wrong direction, this is the effect controls of the arm, let's do some modification in the arm controller. You can easily change this arm's color and size. You can take any color of your choice and also you can adjust the size of arm controller. And then uncheck this reverse option of the arm. Select the arm controller layer and then move the arm controller. Duik is totally free plugin and Duik gives you more flexible animation and powerful rigging tools. Here our rigging process is done so let's animate our arm, but first, we need to smooth arm shape, because here arm is not proper curve shape, but it is not complicated you can adjust arm shape by clicking arm layer and open puppet properties of the arm layer. As you can see here mesh option, you can adjust the mesh value according to your arm shape. It's better than before. Now let's select the controller layer and move the arm controller icon. Let's start to animate arm, select controller layer and press P this is shortcut key of position. 
set a time duration by placing a time ruler, after that press N, then right click on it, select last option of trim comp to work area. As you can see here, time duration has become shorter. Now let's click on position stopwatch icon, here you can make your own pose for arm animation, so let's start to create second pose on other keyframe, as you can see here when I move my arm controller position, keyframe has automatically been created. When you are done with second pose, then a linear path is created. We want to convert this into busier path. Now let's create third pose of the arm. After that if you don't want linear option on the path so select the keyframe and right click on it, then choose keyframe interpolation, here you can easily change the option of path. Select path busier and try to make curve. Do the same process on the fourth keyframe. Now let's create end pose of the arm, you can use the first keyframe for the last arm pose, select keyframe and copy, then paste at the end of the timeline, now let's convert linear path into curve. Here we have made a total 5 pose of the arm, I think it's enough pose for a good animation. Now let's smooth it, by tweaking the animation graph. Select all keyframes and right click on it. Then choose Keyframes Assistant and select Easy Ease, you can also use Keyboard Shortcut F9 for Easy Ease. Need to give a little bit space between the keyframes. And then place the Time Ruler at the end of keyframe, and press N this is Shortcut Key of Work Area End. Let's play the animation. Arm animation is good enough but we can make it better than this, so let's give some more space between the keyframes. Looks awesome to me. Go to the graph editor and once again select all keyframes and choose easy ease option. Select keyframe individually, and adjust the graph little bit. It's playing nice and smooth. If you liked the video, please like, comment and subscribe. See you next time.